outcome better. So in any event, what I did was, I'm going to move in here. What I did was on this side of my head, I did my normal technique, which you saw in my Bantu Knot um, video, which is to do a flat twist into a two strand twist and then Bantu Knot it. And then I held, have held it in place like I did with this one with a bobby pin. Okay, so as you can see, this is a Bantu um, knot. It's twisted, and this is kind of what it looks like. I'll show you this front one. This is what I did. I, I've, I've held these in place also with um, bobby pins because sometimes mine like to slip out. But what I did with this was just a single strand, as you can see. I just basically kept going like this until the whole strand was twisted and then I turned it into a bantu knot. Okay, So that's this one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take them all down. So as I take these down, um, I'm just going to kind of tell you what I did when I set these. Um, I misted them lightly with um, water and vera juice, just really lightly. I didn't want to saturate them because I wanted to maintain as much uh, length as possible. I didn't want my hair to revert to its natural curl. So um, I just lightly misted it and then I added my oil mixture which is comprised of um, coconut oil and a little bit of olive oil. And then I used upper, uh, upper management gel by uh, Kiss My Face. To, um, as, as kind of a styler on the twist and then I did each of the knots. So now what I'm doing is taking my oil mixture again which is the olive oil and the coconut oil and I am just putting um, the oil on each of my knots before I begin to take them down. And I like to do this just to add some extra moisture to my hair. Okay, and it also helps to prevent frizz. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, kind of begin the process of taking uh, each of these down by putting a little bit more oil on my fingertips, rubbing, the, rubbing it in, and then taking down each of my twists. The reason I do this is because um, it helps to reduce frizz um, that could be created by you know taking them down separating the hair so I like to make sure that I have uh, a coconut oil or some type of cream usually I use an oil though um, while I'm taking my uh, my knots down So um, one of the things that I've noticed just in looking at each side of my hair is that the side where I did the flat twist into two strand bantu knot out is much more fluffy um, and the side where I did a strand twist is uh, fluffy but it is very separated. So um, I know that I will have to go in and take those apart some more because you can see gaps in between the hair um, in each section. Okay, so I've been fluffing for a few minutes now, and one side is great, no gaps, uh, nice fluffiness and fullness, but on the side where I did the single strand twist into the bantu um, knot out, I'm still having a difficult time with gaps and um, even making the hair full. Um, and my fingers are getting caught in my hair, to be perfectly honest. So I've decided to just pull a pick out and use a pick to lift my hair. Um, one of the reasons my fingers were getting caught is because 
um, the even after I separated and did some separating of uh, each of the single strand twists where I did the bantu knot, um, the twist still wanted to coil kind of at the root, so it made it very difficult for me to lift that hair uh, fully because my fingers would just get caught. So now I'm just going to use a uh, bobby pin and kind of pin um, the one side back because it's really difficult to shape the side um, because those gaps just do not want to come out in some areas. Okay, <laughs> so that's it. I'm done styling this for the most part. And uh, one of the things I've observed in um, with this style is, you know what? I still love the bantu knot out. Okay, this was uh, the bantu knot out was actually my go-to hairstyle when I was transitioning. So this is a great hairstyle for transitioners as well as um, naturals. So. This is what I've observed from this style. Okay, this side of my hair, so this was the side I did the um, two-strand twist, uh, primarily flat twist into a two-strand twist. I did that on this side of my hair. Uh, again, on this side of my hair, I just did a single strand twist into a bantu knot. What I've observed about this side is that it, uh, you know, because of the two strand twist, you don't have to do a lot of separation, not because of the two strand twist, but the flat twist into a two strand twist and then bantu knot um, is great because you don't have to do a lot of separating when you take them down. Also, I noticed that this was really, really easy to blend together. Um, also, in terms of my fluffing the hair, you know, to, um, in such a way that I avoid a uh, frizz, <coughs> this side, it was really easy to do that. I could work through my roots really well, and because, um, you know, I did the uh, flat twist into a two-strand twist and then a bantu knot, um, my roots were not tangled, nor were the ends of my hair. The ends of my hair are not tangled um, as well. This side, when I took it down, one thing I noticed uh, was that it definitely, you know, it gives or it provides a different texture from this side. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking into my mirror as I'm, t as I'm talking here. But it's a different type of, um, it's definitely a different type of curl um, and texture. And actually, I want to say that, you know, like toward the root, it almost holds, you know, unless you go through and make sure that you, you know, separate, 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 and separate some more, you'll have sections that kind of look like this. I'm going to pull. Okay, so behind this section, if you, if you can see, this end, or toward the root, it's still twisted. It's still twisted. So, in order to, you know, even if you separate these sections, the hair is still going to want to twist into that single strand twist. In any event, so I didn't like that. Um, and because you have to kind of twist and twist and twist and twist to uh, separate, it also made it really difficult for me to like lift, like my hair is caught right here. Normally, my hair would not be caught. Like, I can, okay, so I, I got through that section, um, but like back here, like it's, it's catching, it's going to eventually kind of work through, but I don't like that, but, you know, all in all, I would say, you know, it's okay, I don't, I don't really like it though, I'm going to be honest, mm -mm. I don't like the curl, I feel like it's frizzy, it's, it's, it's mm -mm. I don't like it. This side, I really do like. I really like this side. All right. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Which side do you like better? Do you like the 
um, the side where I did the flat twist into the two strand twist fancy knot out or do you like the side where I just did the single strand twist into the bamboo knot out? Maybe it's just me and I'm tripping. I'd love to know. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.